Mike, one, two, one, two, Mike, one, two, one, two. Well, I uh, did my pre-season in New Zealand. Uh, I did a month's riding in uh, February over there, and then uh, in January, sorry, and then in February I headed back to Europe, and I went straight to Italy, and I got some good work done. I uh, was training in uh, Italy and uh, started to do some races, which went pretty well. I did uh, four internationals, and I went two, one, one, three at those four races. But uh, I've had a few injuries. I picked up a shoulder injury at the first one of them and uh, a little fracture of my uh, shoulder. So I've sort of been battling through that and I had a bit of time off after them. And then when I came back from that, uh, I hurt my toes. So I've been out the first last few weeks with broken toes. So I had a compound fracture of both toes. So to be honest, the last month's been pretty average for me. It's, uh, I haven't got the time on the bike. I just ain't, haven't got the work done basically. Um, so yeah, it's the first time I've ridden I've ridden three days in the last month, so it's just not really the preparation I, I needed. But uh, it's the card I've been dealt, I just have to get on with it and, and go from here and uh, do the best I can. Um, I don't feel too bad, the, the toes aren't too painful, it's only been 14 days since, since I had them had surgery, so the problem's more that I haven't been on the bike enough in the last month and just the feeling, you know, the track out there is pretty, pretty gnarly. So. If you haven't quite got the feeling, it's it's pretty tough. So uh, just the, the speed and those conditions is what I'm lacking really. But anyway, uh, I think I've done pretty respectable today and uh, I think tomorrow I'll try and do a little bit better. Well, I wanted to dominate from the start again like I did last year. The first five rounds I pretty much dominated. So I wanted to do the same and uh, make a break on the field really. but. With this injury it's just not going to be possible so uh, I haven't got the speed quite now and also the fitness so I think uh, I've just got to be consistent for this weekend, take as many points as I can and then uh, I'll be able to get back on the bike later next week and start training and then from there uh, get some good riding time in before Spain, Spain try and make the podium maybe and then uh, look for wins from GP3 on and uh, try and maybe, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get back up to speed but uh, Hopefully by GP3 I'm, I'm on full, full form and uh, try and string some wins together and climb back and get the red plate. Yeah, last year was first year with the team I took over from Stefan Everts and uh, last year was pretty tough, first year a new team, but the second year has been a lot easier so it's quite good. The new 08 bike's pretty cool so uh, I'm enjoying it. That was kind of just a natural progression. Uh, I've had a bit of a bad run the last three seasons I've been injured and uh, but you know out of the last last season I did 10 motor 10 Grand Prix I was on the podium nine times the season before I did seven Grand Prix and I was on the podium six times so uh, I've been pretty good form really but uh, just a few injuries and uh, kind of bad luck stuff but uh, I think uh, I stepped it up going to Yamaha because the bike was was then the team was a little bit better than what I, what I had and I was kind of expected to step it up. So it's just one of those things, you know, sometimes when you're expected to do stuff, you just naturally do it. Well, to be honest, I think it'll be the, the Ramon Strobos, like last year. We went one, two, three last year. And I think uh, the year before, they were like two and three as well. So I think we've pretty much been in the top three, the three of us, all the last few years. Uh, so I think it'll be the same. I think there'll be a few other good guys, good, good riders, and, and win, other riders win races, but I don't think they'll be consistently in the top three. You know, it's, a, it's such a long season, and that's why I'm not too worried about my slow start this year. Uh, I learned so much last year. I, I had a 107-point lead and managed to lose the championship, so uh, I think it's the biggest lead in history that I've blown, you know, that's been blowing in a world championship. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this year get it right. Well, uh, you know, Yamaha Europe started talking with Monster last year and uh, Monster want to come into Europe and, and uh, start, start selling over here. It's a great company to be involved with and uh, James Dobb and, uh, and, and Scott from Monster. Uh, I've met them this weekend for the first time, but uh, it seems like a great company and, and great drink. I, I really like the, like the flavours, so I think uh, it's going to be a strong relationship for a long time and uh, we want to 
get the job done. We want to win championships. So does Monster, so do I, so does Yamaha. So I think it will be a great uh, combination, all of us together. Red Bull's definitely stepped it up, you know, they're sponsoring the series, they've got trucks here, they've really stepped it up, I think they're feeling the pinch from Monster, and, uh, but I think Monster's gone about it the right way, you know, they, they mightn't be, have such a big presence in Europe at the moment, but they've got the right riders to do the job, so I think they're going to win the races, so I think it's more, they're going to they're gonna, uh, win the battle, I think, because they're going to be winning races and hopefully championships, and, and that's at the end of the day what helps, uh, you know, you can, you can be here and have a presence, but uh, winning races is what, it's, what we're here for.